The president says, Mr. Biden says, coal plants across America will be shut down and replaced by green energy. Roll it. It's also now cheaper to generate electricity from wind and solar than it is from coal and oil. Literally cheaper. We're going to be shutting these plants down all across America and having wind and solar. Okay. Well, Senator Joe Manchin called those comments outrageous, and that forced the White House to once again walk back the president's remarks. Mike Rowe is with me. How America works. This is the man who does that. Okay. You know, I, I hate to say this, but sometimes, Mike, it sounds like the president it doesn't really respect blue collar workers. You know what I mean? Uh, <clears throat> yes, I know what you mean. And uh, I think that sentiment is probably uh, alive and well in more than a few places. But I don't. I don't know that this issue is really about the workers. I think it's about the people who rely on energy. It's about <laughs> all of us. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's tricky. I, I was talking to a friend of mine uh, this morning about the same thing. Who's on the left side of the aisle? And he said, it's, it's unpleasant when you have to decide whether or not the president meant what he said. Yep. Or not. Yep. It's it's awkward. Yeah. You know, if, if if his comments need to be explained, then what does that what does that even mean? And I don't I don't have any answers for it other than I'm pretty sure that China and India combined are building a coal plant every week. Yep. And they have plans to continue for the next three decades. Yep. So there's a bigger story, and I'm not sure why we would well, end you're, it here. You're right to identify the bigger story. Because if the White House has to walk back what the president said, who is in charge of saying what policy is? The walker backer. Uh, the walker backer. And that doesn't make any sense. I mean, the president uh, just uh, yesterday, I think it was, he said, no more oil drilling. Or words to that effect. Mm -hmm. We're not drilling for oil. Well, we are. Of course we are. We're just not drilling enough for oil. It's <clears throat> the very first episode we did of How America Works back in season one was on oil. It was on one of thousands of oil companies in this country called Cameron Energy. And I got some pushback for it, but mostly what I got from viewers was surprise. They were like, so we're still doing that. I'm like, of course we're still doing that. Oil, natural gas, fossil fuels. We can talk very grandly and broadly about what the future might hold decades down the line. But right now we are deeply, deeply reliant on those energies. And I... I, I don't understand why we would pretend we're not. Because the Greens run the government, I suspect. I'm a simple man, Stuart. I, I, <laughs> no, you're not. I, you're the host of uh, How America Works. That's true. And you can see the latest edition tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, on Fox Business Prime. You're my lead-in. Correct. I follow you at yes, 9 o'clock. Yes, you do. My job is to simply <laughs> smooth out the runway so you can come in with American Built and once again just... Get your ratings and do your thing. I'm happy to help. But if I, <laughs> thank you very much, Ro. You're all right. <laughs> See you soon. Sure.